So can you potentially polish a black car with hard paint with a lot of swirls and scratches by hand? We're about to find out. So in today's episode, you've got my personal MG GTS, which is actually undergoing a full paint correction, which is on a video series on our channel as well. But the rear deck lid has not been touched yet. I'm about to take you in for a closer look and you will see that the paint, it's clean, it's decontaminated, but it hasn't been touched yet. It's got a lot of swirls, a lot of scratches. We get a lot of requests from people saying, look, can you potentially correct or even enhance the car in a certain way by hand. Some people haven't got the means to be buying at least two machines, a bigger machine and a small machine, the polishing pads, the refining pads, the polishers, the compounds, the towers, you know, it could be a very expensive venture for something that you either need to do a spot repair on or for the whole car even, it's still quite an expensive setup fee. Now, I always recommend that you use a machine polisher. So in this case, we're using the full Rupes line, both the polishers, pads, the compounds, everything. Now, if you've got a little bit of damage or every year you like to enhance your car, maybe remove some of the winter swirls that you've caused because you've rushed a wash somewhere, we're gonna now see if you can do it. So as you guys can see by the paint, it is not in the best condition. It's got swirls, it's got scratching, got hazing just look at them angles there there is truly nothing that has been done to it and that's very clear so if you've just seen the whole rear deck lid is completely ruined now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of tape and I'm going to just mark out 50-50 now all you need is a few simple tools. Now, like I said, customers have been coming to us in droves saying, look, can this be done? I always recommend the full machine polishing step. You will get the best 100% results. It's quicker, it's easier, and overall, the car will benefit from it more. But let's say you don't have any power, you live in an apartment block, you, you don't have the upfront cost to go and buy some of the machines. You will need a few simple tools. So you will need a handful of our plush towels. Now this is used to remove either the compound or the polish. You will need one of our ultra soft hex grip applicators. This is what you're gonna use as the mechanical step working in the compound or the polish. And what you will need is two liquid products. You will need first a compound. So this is a more coarse abrasive where you will level most of the swirls and scratches. And then you will need a refining polish where you bring the paint up to a high defect free shine and to remove some of the damage that you will kind of cause yourself through the compounding step. So because we don't make a compound polish, we've had the opportunity as professional detailers and as pure car enthusiasts for the last 10 years to use pretty much every compound polish ever designed on the market. So as of 2021, my very true unbiased opinion is the best that you can get for your car is from a range called Sonax. Now Sonax do two unbelievable products as you're about to see hopefully. So product number one is called the Sonax Cutmax. It is, as I said, it's a compound. It, the way it works is just beautiful, very nice wipe off. And that will get you to a step where you can go into step number two, which is Sonax Perfect Finish. Now you know I rave about this product. Sonax Perfect Finish I think is the the market leading refining polish at the minute if you've got the right car as well it could be used as a one-step compound but because i know the paint on this is very hard we're not going to be using it in this um, instance so what we're going to do now we're going to number one work in the sonax cut max in linear motions we'll put a little bit of pressure behind it and what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and imitate what a machine polisher would do now, like with any liquid product, I would recommend giving it a good shake, especially with the abrasives, and just make sure everything's mixed in. So what you want to be doing is just putting a little bit on. That's not a lot. So imagine you're waxing the car. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to spread it. And as you've seen, I've gone from the middle out. You don't want to be loading a full fresh pad of product into the cracks. So 
let's work this in as best as we can. Now, you can work this in circles if you want, but sometimes I do prefer going in linear motions. Now, the reason the machine is a lot easier is because let's say how many minutes or hours is it gonna take you to reach a thousand rotations with your arm? Whereas a machine can go to 4,000 RPM. So as you can see, a machine will probably get this process done a lot quicker and a lot more effectively as well. Now, once you've worked the product in, I would recommend taking the towel to remove any excess product. And now you're gonna see just exactly how much impact you have made. Now the cut max are doing a very, very good job on the area that we focused on. Now I didn't focus too much around the edges where you could still see there's a few hairline scratches here and there, but like I said, we're not focusing on that. We're focusing on the main part of the panel and just show you if this can be done. However, and now I have caused my own damage. It's called haze. Within the cut max, you've got bigger abrasives. So with bigger abrasives, it cuts through the paint quicker. However, you can leave behind some hairs, but not to worry. This is where the perfect finish will come into it. So I would recommend you take a secondary hex grip applicator, which hasn't got any compound on. Like always, give this a shake. And now what you want to do is you want to add a little bit of product, a couple of dots if you can. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna complete the same step again. So what you wanna do now is use the micro abrasives which are in in the perfect finish, which is a finishing polish. And you just want to work them in for as long as possible. A finishing polish is a beautiful product to work with because it's always a little bit more oily. It basically means you can work it for longer. So, because I know from where I'm standing, I've made a lot of haze. It's good to just work this in. Now what you will see with the finishing polish, first of all, it wipes off unbelievably, very easy. It wipes off almost like a show wax. Now, this is looking very good to be fair. It looks very nice. Now I'm gonna take you in for a closer look and you'll see a 50-50 difference. Now look. This is what we're working with. Look at that. That is not bad. Wow. As you could see the edge work there where the light is. Like I said, I wasn't focusing on edges, but you go from this to something like this with a hand polish. Now what you have just seen is truly, truly unbelievable. I've still got my light here. And as you'll see through camera there, you, you've got your swirls there and it just goes into flawless paint. Now, now don't get me wrong, the Mercedes paint is extremely hard. A lot of people, even a lot of professionals, struggle to do paint like this or BMW or Audi paint, even with a machine. And these people have had years of experience. Now, if you use a little bit of common sense, you use the right techniques and you know the chemistry behind the product and how you can manipulate the product to how you want to react, as you've seen, those results are truly unbelievable. Now, if you accidentally ding your door your wife puts, you know, shopping bags on top of the boot or a cat sits on it or a bird, anything like that. Or you've just had a few bad weeks of washing your car and you've caused swirls and scratches. We're now coming in to spring, especially if you've got a darker color car and you want to touch up your paint. You want to make it pop again. You want to add the beautiful gloss ready for a nice coat of something like your ceramic or your wax. You've seen that took me about six minutes worth of work. Now, would you do this to the whole car? You can, but it's gonna take you a very long time. However, if you've got the patience and you've got the time and you want the car to look absolutely beautiful and to have the results that you have just seen, it is completely possible. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm going to add every product that I have just used in the description down below. 
Now the two most important products we don't sell. I don't make any money from this. I don't benefit, but you guys benefit. That's why I thought I'd do the video. This is the perfect test bed vehicle. This is why we have it in here um, to show you what's available. I'm gonna link you the best shop in the country that will sell this. The people who will obviously service you with the Sonax range are unbelievable people. So please just go and show me some support. Buy these two products, two hex grips, two plush towels, and you'll be away. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's boosted the people who are afraid to potentially put a polish onto the car. You've seen, it's so easy. There's been no gimmicks and the car looks now unbelievable. So let me know what you think actually in the comments with the results, because I think they just look truly unbelievable. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next video and hope you've enjoyed the results. Take care.